this was a case that I told the parents, we're going to just procline everything because it looks very retroclined, very distant. So we're just going to procline everything, make room and don't worry about it. Mrs. Jones we will take care of it. And thank God I was disciplined enough to run the numbers and still take this up, even though look how retroclined those teeth look, right? Yeah. Look at the chef. Oh, come on. Oops. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, this is me calling after work. Uh, Mrs. Jones, can I can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. I know you just put your down payment and your son had the chef before he left. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now and I cannot procline. We're talking about 10 millimeters of crowding. Look at the lateral on the lower right. Completely blocked out. I totally missed it. It looked, it looked upright, right? No, it's actually right where it needs to be. You see the value of SF? Um, I would love to do this case. Nothing changes except the fact that I'm going to need to take out four premolars. No, if you don't like that, I'll give you your refund. Go on. I'm, I'm sorry. But now you understand the principles. You have nothing to be afraid. Right? You go through stage one. You align. Let's see how it works. Look at that bottom picture and look at this next one. See how I'm getting, especially on the right, the K9 off the lateral just with a night eye. Okay, left needs a little more help. Okay, I'm gonna use an e-link now, a very light e-link and support it by a wire. Why? I got my fence, I got my railroad, I got my peace of mind. Things are not going to just fly out of control. So now we nudge the canine back. Two appointments later, we are now on a 22 stainless steel. Back then, I was using 22 stainless steel, and I'm so glad I did. So now, class 2 elastics. You guys see that? Class 2 elastics. Settling it in. Debond. The middle one is immediately after. The bottom one is a year later. <laughs>